To celebrate the end of the year, we published a list of activities on Facebook you could still partake in, giving the amount of time left as of 5.20 p.m. Eastern on December 18th. These activities included 4,098 consecutive playthroughs of Toto's Africa, 26 complete viewings of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, extended and without the Hobbits, unfortunately, and 4.3 complete back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back viewings of the American Office, among some other nonsense. So in the comments on Facebook, one of our customers, Stephen Perry, posed the question, if I start all four versions of Africa on repeat now, how many episodes into The Office will I be the first time they all synchronize during the chorus? Well, I told Stephen I'd run the numbers, but then I found it was a little more complicated than I expected. The first step was easy. I pulled the respective videos up on YouTube and determined the length of each song and then when the first chorus kicks in as shown on the table on your screen. Note that for ease of calculation, we're only trying to sync the first chorus in each song. The next step is to find the point of synchronization or congruence between these four songs, which ended up being the tricky part. Someone in our office who was a lot smarter at this than me suggested using a modular system of equations and expressing the values as such. T equals 23 mod 145 for Pitbull, T equals 68 mod 244 for Weezer, T equals 70 mod 275 for Toto, and T equals 77 mod 277 for Ninja Sex Party. Modular arithmetic is handy here so we can ignore the exact number of times the song has to repeat. We can equivalently express the first equation as T equals 23 plus N times 145, where N is just some whole number that we don't really care about. Then, if T seconds have passed, we know we are 23 seconds into the N plus 1 playthrough. So, if T is congruent to each of those values under their respective moduli, we know that we are 23 seconds into the somethingth playthrough of the first song, 68 seconds into the somethingth playthrough of the second song, and etc. Think of it kind of like hands on a clock that you're all trying to line up together. Now, stay with me here because this is where it gets a little complicated because we're going to have to apply the Chinese remainder theory. Using CRT, we can find the point of congruence of these four songs, but there is a catch. Each of the moduli have to be co-prime, meaning they have no prime factors in common. In this case, 145 and 275 both have a common factor of five. Luckily, there is a generalization of the CRT for non-coprime moduli, although there is another catch. For example, if x equals a mod m, x equals b mod m with gcd mn greater than 1, there is a solution if and only if a equals b mod gcd mn. In our example, we have gcd 145 275 equals 5, so we need to check if 23 equals 70 mod 5. But 3 equals 23 mod 5 and 0 equals 70 mod 5, so that means there will never be a point where these two choruses are congruent ruin even if we watched episodes of The Office until the inevitable heat death of the universe. So what does this mean for Steven's question? Well, it means we need to make a hard decision on which song to include since we can't include both Toto and Pitbull. I think that we ought to choose age before beauty, so I picked Toto for the remainder of this example. So now we're looking at applying a modular set of equations such that x equals 275 times 277 times n1 plus 244 times 277 times n2 plus 244 times 275 times n3, where n1 has the same property as 68 mod 244 for Weezer, n2 has the same property as 70 mod 275 for Toto, n3 has the same property as 77 mod 277 for Ninja Sex Party, and x is equal to the time in seconds before synchronization occurs. Using a widget from Wolfram Alpha, we are able to find a value of congruence by plugging in a random value for each n to satisfy the property. Then we can plug that back into a modular equation to find the lowest point of congruence. And so having done that, we get 7,883,220 seconds, or 91 one days, five hours, and 47 minutes. Great! So now that we've got our number, we can go back and find out how many episodes of The Office that is. We already calculated that The Office has a total runtime of 262,560 seconds, which means we can make it 30.02445 times through the series while still listening to all three versions of Africa on repeat. So 30 complete rotations is all well and good, but what about the .02445? Well, that translates into another 6,420 seconds. We can do some quick rounding to find out the average episode is 1,306 seconds long, which is just the total runtime divided by 201 episodes, which is rough, but it will do for our purposes. Using this, we find out that our 6,420 seconds works out to 4.915773 episodes, which puts us 1,196 seconds into episode 5 of season 1, Basketball. And if we started this at 5.20 p.m.
p.m. on December 18th, as the example said, this point would occur on March 19th, 2019 at 11.07 p.m. And just so we're all on the same page here, this is what it would look and sound like. Anyway, whew, great question, Stephen. I hope you've got your calendar cleared. Now, as I said earlier, this proof was put together with the help of some people much smarter than me, and I'm pretty sure we're correct. But if you want to double check our work, let us know what you think in the comments section. And I promise in the future, there won't be quite so much math.